VIP guest has arrived at your zoo. Who is it? Professional Flauschi. I have no idea who you are, but welcome to possibly the greatest zoo ever created. Isn't this place fantastic? We got turtles. We got alligators. That's it. That I'd come here. Look, we could buy food too. This is a great place. I would definitely come to the zoo. Alligator names. Let's see what we have. Name them Ding and Dong because you called them saltwater Ding Dongs. Also, I think you need to make the water in the crocodile enclosure deeper. I would do that. However, that would cost more money, which I am not willing to spend. You should name one Salt Ding and the other Water Dong. Name one Ding and the other Dong. You should straight up call them Ding and Dong. The name should be Dingy and Dongy because they are Ding Dongs. Name them Ding and Dong, please. Name the saltwater Ding Dongs, male Ding Dong, female Ding Dong. Name them Ding and Dong. So, I may be responsible for this one. <laughs> well, we're naming them Ding and Dong. Obviously, we're gonna name the male Dong. For obvious reasons. And then the female can be Ding. Why? Because they are saltwater ding-dongs <laughs> and there you have it so what are we doing in this episode well i think something just finished researching oh, that's vet research i don't care about vet research i think mechanic research just finished researching which means we now have as i click all the wrong buttons we should now have better staff facilities so i'm hoping we have the big one the big one that won't suck Staff room large. Boom! This is the one. This is what we've been working for. This has been what the dream has been about the whole time. This box that holds a lot of people, which we will plant back here. I don't care that there's a tree growing through the middle of it. That's part of the scenery now. And we'll just put a staff path like this. That is not a staff path. Like this. I don't care how big... Actually, I do care how big it is. Gross. That's what she said. And um, we're good. So now they have even more places to rest. In all honesty, I should do a switcheroo here and put the big one over here for all these people. And then these idiots can use a smaller one. It doesn't matter. If I need to spend a lot of money, I'm going to spend it on staff rooms because the people in the park are dumb. Now, what I could do here is schedule or set up zones, which I'll probably do at some point. Just not right now because I'm far too lazy. In fact, what I can do is bring this path down here. You know what? We're going crazy. We're going crazy. You might be saying, whoa, calm down there. You're, you're too crazy. No, we're going crazy. And you know what I'm going to freaking do? We're going to slam the path down this way. Why? Because I could just make it a straight line, or I could slam the path down that way. So I choose to slam the path down that way. I don't know how wide it is. Is it 10? Well, it's 10 now. <laughs> Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Planet Zoo. That is exactly what I wanted to do. That is the most beautiful path work I've ever seen in my life. 10 out of 10. Okay. So we can have staff rooms back over here, and we can throw the next exhibit right there. And you might be wondering, well, what are you going to put in the zoo? I don't know. I didn't see any comments saying add animals. Actually, someone said to add warthogs. So I guess we're adding warthogs. <laughs> It's kind of a lame one, but that's the one that I saw. Warthogs it is. Common warthog. Oh my god, it's so boring. Oh, even the even the rare ones aren't worth that much. <laughs> this one is a gold, and it's 20... I'm going to buy it. For 25 leaf points, birds are us. I don't know why you're selling a warthog if you specialize in birds. I feel like I'm being lied to. We got one male, one female... This one's worth, okay, that one sucks. This one's worth 30. <laughs> Great Lakes Zuko. There you go. Enjoy the the pocket change in leaf points. I don't know where I got almost 7,000 leaf points. I have no idea. Did that happen in my last series? Like, it's just there, and I don't know where it came from. I need fences, don't I? Let's do a little bit of research on these gross things. Honestly, what is with them? They look so weird. Why is why why did evolution say hey stretch the face make the face super long 
with these weird cheekbones and give them give them tusks. It's like something I would create in Spore. And if you've seen any of my Spore series, you would know they're ter Look at, what is this? This the face is so droopy and long, and what are these things right here? Are they just more horns? Actually, that's kind of badass if they're more horns, because it looks like that's a horn there, too. What am I doing? Grade 2 fence greater than 4.125 feet. Damn. Also, they only need 290 meters. So someone did say add the warthogs because they like not a lot of room. That is why I picked it. 4.125. I guess these idiots can jump. It's feet, not meters. Also, we need to increase ticket price, which you know I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make it way, way, way too expensive here. Also, I think I can lower this. Increase that. I don't know. I just don't want it to be nighttime here. I want it to be sunny all the time. Let's see. Adult, you'll have to pay 15 to get in. Children have to pay 8. There we go. And it's no. The adults can't pay for the children to come in. The children have to pay themselves. That's how this zoo works. If you want to get in, you have to pay your own money. You can't have your parents buy your way in. <laughs> was it a grade 2 fence? I think it's a grade 2, which is logs. It's actually, I can make the whole thing in a glass. Corrugated. Ooh, that's cheaper than wood. That's what we're going for. Oh, God, why is it so weird looking when I move this thing around? There's like a ghost following it, and it hurts my eyes to look at. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's play the video game. So we'll put that here. We only need 290. So let's try that. That's four. One, two, three, four. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but I can dream. Oh, no. Crap. Some idiot put a path here. Yep, that's going to be an issue. That is not obstructed. I swear, this game... How is that obstructed? Why can I not put... Are you... It's nowhere near the path! Stupid. Oh yeah, now it works. I make it gross. So dumb. I'm not even bothered with angle snap. I'll just wing it. Ah, yes. Very, very much obstructed. There's so much stuff in the way here as I try to place this piece of wall. Look at all those obstructeds on my screen right now. <laughs> Can I hit autocomplete? Oh, God. So we move that to, I don't know, right there. Good enough. There's a dent in the side of the exhibit. I don't care. Okay. Um, we need to put a door down. Oh, crap. Where am I going to put... The stuff for this place. I guess we could put a bridge over top for the staff stuff and have staff stuff over here. Maybe we should have separate staff stuff. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll attach this path to there, and then we'll just have a different path over here. So we'll put the door... <laughs> it's so wonky. Just put it right there. No! Don't want the side wonky. There we go. Is that big enough? Probably not. 400. <laughs> it's big enough. Oh, man. I'm, I love this zoo. I can make it way smaller than this, but we'll see what happens after we put the uh, warthogs in. All right. Let's make this path like... Nope. Staff path. Straight back. Angle snap garbage out of here. Good. Delete all this nonsense. It's perfect. Because we are going to have to get like a shelter and stuff, so. Alright, let's get these idiots in the exhibit. Um. Wow. I don't think I've ever pressed more wrong buttons in my life. I had this menu open. I had to press this one for animal storage, but for some reason I went all the way down here and pressed like habitat or something. 
I swear, I've played this game at least once before. Move this thing here. And then... Move this thing. There. Wait, how many points would I have gotten if I released them to the wild? 14. 14. We would have made, like, almost half of back if we released it to the wild. That's how crappy these warthogs are. Alright, that fence is high enough. Let's put glass everywhere. So people can witness them. Oh, crap, we don't have it. Glass is rated 2, right? Yeah. So we can make it glass. But we can't do one-way glass? I don't think. Yeah. We need to research barriers. And since we have the bigger rooms now, we have to get that idiot on barrier duty. Don't mind me. Just pressing all the wrong buttons again. That's what I do best. No, I don't care about this. Hooray. Saltwater ding-dongs. They're fully researched now. <laughs> I just love how I have all my animals researched already. You, stop researching that, Willy. Start researching barriers. Good. Okay, let's go. Oh, we need donation bins here. We're at $30,000 still, which is good. Put that one right next to the garbage can so they get confused. Throw their money in the garbage can and throw their garbage in the donation bin. I'm gonna sneeze. Mm. Oh man, I thought about holding that in, but I remember the last time what happened when I held it in. It was just terrible. Okay. <laughs> Where are we at? Um, fast forward. We need to wait for the warthogs to get in the warthog hole. The warthog cube. Warthog box. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to name this exhibit. So we have Turtle Town. Um, or Tortoise Town. My bad. What the hell do I call this one? It's not having that too. It's lame. I'll call it Ding Dong Land. There we go. And this one will be called Wart Hog Box. Okay. Guess what, everyone? My warthogs need names. Pick good ones because they're beautiful creatures. Beautiful, majestic. Oh my god, they're so weird looking. Many guests think tickets are overpriced. Oh my god, they complain that they were underpriced. Now they complain that they're overpriced. God, they're so weird looking. Ugh. Why? They're just standing here sniffing the air. <laughs> All right, let's see what they... They're, they're, they're sniffing the air to tell how terrible the exhibit is. That's what they're doing. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want? We cleared it with the size, which is good, but they need hard shelter, so we may need to make this box bigger. They need short grass, less long grass, and soil. Probably because they probably just love to roll around in mud. Let's just give them heavy soil right by the front here. I love the noises it makes when you place heavy soil down. It just sounds so wet, even though it looks freaking dry. <laughs> All right. We'll go with short grass now. There we go. And this doesn't cost me money, right? Yeah, good. It doesn't. Just making sure. That is the best. Okay, we did it. Wait, did I put... No, I definitely put soil down. Yeah, not rock. See, look at the picture for this. Look at the picture for heavy soil. Then look at the heavy soil. Like, it looks like it's muddy here, right? That doesn't look like that at all. That looks more like the smooth rock than it does heavy soil. And light soil. Yeah, I guess that looks like it. But still, they missed the mark completely. Anyway. Does it change color by water? No, it still looks very dry even underneath this pond. <laughs> Good. Do these guys want... Oh, they want plants. Okay. Hey, look, I can click these buttons and nothing happens. Probably because there's nothing in the exhibit. Okay, they want um, plants. Some plants. Let's add some plants. I could probably get away with one tree. So they like uh, grassland and tropical. So we'll put a grassland tropical tree down. That thing's $140. I feel as though... Something this size should probably be more than $144, but that's just me. 
where is the the classic? You can't see a picture of a savanna without seeing this tree. Is it an acacia tree? Probably said it wrong, but this bad boy. Oh yeah, this is the one. Boom! One tree just saved the day. It was the cheapest one too. Look at that. We almost have too many plants now. And they love the variety. <laughs> <laughs> they love the variety of one tree. Okay. So they just need a hard shelter now. And we might need to make the place a little bigger. Crap. Should I just throw them all on birth control now so I don't have to worry about it? Oh my, I've been recording for 17 minutes already? What the hell? Where does the time go when I'm recording this series? I don't know why. I just have a lot of fun with this game now. Ever since I just stopped caring, I was like, you know what? Will this work? It works. Are you kidding me? So we'll just do this then. That way, we don't have to worry about losing ground cover. Genius. Okay, can we just, like, duplicate this real quick? That's not duplicating it real quick. Advanced dupe. I have been requested to also add bedding, but come on. Bedding costs money, and I don't think they need it, so... Are you guys happy? Happy with this place? Oh, they freaking love it! We did it. Also, food bowls. I'm not gonna add food bowls either, because... What the hell is that? Oh no, they're probably pissed. Um, are you squishing your young? Oh my god! Dong, what are you doing to that baby? Quit killing it! Do we have to put Dong down? Oh my god, it crawled out of his mouth. Okay, we're putting them on birth control. We can't have these things banging all the time. Although, we could just sell their babies. That's what we'll do. That's, that's what we're going to do. So we'll sell the ones that are worse or older and then just rename them from the name. So this baby, Putra, we'll just call this one Dong in the future and sell Dong. I could probably do it right now. Putra, your name's now Dong. And Dong? You're going to the... Oh, I can't release you to the wild. I think you're going to the Trade Center, though, bud. You're really not that great of a crocodile. Look, you give one star. Your star is terrible. You're 25 years old. 25.7 years old. And Dong is 0.3 years old. Dang, oh, we need a female one. Actually, maybe I should hold off, because if we... I don't know how long... Lions. I almost called these things lions. Oh, you're halfway. Head off, three. Okay, maybe I should wait. Alright, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Just make me proud. Um, there's... <laughs> when that thing grows up, we're gonna have some problems with the size of the exhibit. Yikes. This is the issue with doing... Okay, this is... You know what we can do? Crap, I need to make the place bigger. We need to make exhibits slightly bigger than I want to make them. For things like this. If we want to make money, leaf points count as money. So, we need to take into account offspring. Oh, that's a lot of work, though. We may be okay with the warthogs. I think they breed like crazy anyway. The tortoises, we're probably fine with, too. <laughs> Maybe not. But I can always just put the exhibit back here. Yeah, we can do that. But these things need more room. As much as I don't want to give them more room. We need to give them more room. Okay, that's probably way more than enough room. You can't tell me the path tools are good in this game after what the hell just happened right there. Alright, let's grab this. Move it out to there. Good enough. This thing should update. 
Yep, well, we gotta see the alligator. It's hungry. It's hungry, yet there's a pile of food right there. Good, good job. Any more rock, but they have way more land. And then we'll even... Let's pause the game. Because if they crawl into this pond while the game is uh, unpaused, I won't be able to put the... I still can't put the water back in. They're too close. See how dumb that is? You can't tell me that's not dumb. That's incredibly dumb. All right, we'll flatten down this. That's more liquid. We have to put them in a box. Like, we literally have to box them. We, we have to box the alligator. Have you ever boxed an alligator before? It's not the easiest thing. They're kind of giant. Good, we only had to box the baby. Fist fight, let's go. Okay, look, they have more water now. And they need more rock? Sure, we can give them more rock. There's your... Freaking intensity 100. There's your rock. Get rid of that grass. Perfect. Okay. So, is that better? Welfare. Social. <laughs> so dumb. Look at that. And now they're more than up any more soil. Damn it. I just want to take care of the warthogs real quick. Freaking alligators mean butts. What do they have too much of? Grass? They want way more soil. Good enough. Okay, that's done. Now, back to over here. You you ding-dongs. No, we can't call them ding-dongs. Ding-dongs has already been taken. We, I'm not going to make their exhibit bigger just yet. You want to know what we do need for them, though? They need a place to drink, or else they'll die. But we'll give them this tray instead. It's cheaper, and that is why. Also, I should probably hire more zoo dudes. Shouldn't I? We have one zookeeper for three exhibits. That's a problem. Let's do that. As much as I don't want to do that, we have to do that. All right, and we have to, oh God, we have to assign areas. I don't want to assign areas. I'm far too lazy to assign areas. Oh, but we have to assign it. Wait, where did everyone go? Where did everyone go? Everyone's gone and I have no idea why. I've never seen this before. Tickets are overpriced. So they thought my tickets were overpriced. So the ones that already got in left. What? I'm trying to trying to figure out the logic behind of that one. Oh, we got into this zoo at three dollars. What they upped the price to fifteen dollars while we're in the zoo? I don't like those ticket prices. I'm gonna leave. Cause there's no way. We like everyone literally left. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's gone. But here they come. Look, we lowered it and everyone's back again. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, zoo. No, animals. No, animal. No, zoo. Yes. Vet, you. Research that thing. Alligators. You guys need the stuff. Crap. Let's see, there's so many things I need to do. You know what? I'll worry about hiring staff and assigning stuff off video because that's boring and no one wants to watch that. So I'll do that in between this video and the next one. Uh, we'll just get some enrichment for these clowns and then call it a video there. We got warthogs, everybody. We now have warts. We're hogging all the warts. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Salt water, salt water, salt water, salt water, salt water, salt water, ding dong, okay. Mud bath. Yo, I can go for a mud bath right about now. Ugh, listen to the noise it made. Water jet enrichment, ooh, that's fun. Oh crap, maybe I should see what type they need. Yep, they don't need toy, they need food. Here, have a blood pumpkin, a bloodkin. Is that it? A large snowball? Ah, yes. Because saltwater crocodiles are known to love 
Snowballs. Does that count as food? How does that not count as food? It's literally food. Have you ever eaten snow? It's delicious. I'm not going to pay money for it if we don't need it. Oh, there's a scent stack. Just put it right by the people so they know. They equate it, you know. Food, 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 food. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Look at these fricks. What, they want more than that? The scent sack doesn't count? Isn't there meat in there? I don't know. But I'm going to end this one here. The warthogs need names. Male, female, warthog. That's what they look like. They're licking each other like a bunch of... Oh, wait, are they about to make babies? Oh, dear God, they're about to make babies. Well, let's watch. That's how, that's how it is. Just like that. That is how babies are made. You just rub your faces together. I'm going to end this one before I say something I regret. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed it. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.